with us are Regina O'Connor, who's a policy advisor to members of the European Parliament, primarily Fianna Fáil members. Uh, also with us is William Priestley. Regina, uh, you're the Fianna Fáil candidate in this uh, election campaign. Why should, on earth, should anybody in the Senate, in universities, vote for somebody who's connections with Fianna Fáil? Fitzgerald, thanks for having me on your show. Um, I'm not a Fianna Fáil candidate in this election. I'm running independent and feel very passionate about that. Passionate the that you're not Fianna Fáil? Passionate that the six, there are only six senators in the whole of the Senate that are actually independent. And I value my own freedom of speech and my own free value, value of thought. And I have advised uh, the Fianna Fáil MEPs um, over five years, but over the last year and a half, we've moved to the Liberals, and I'm an advisor to 84 MEPs, which includes Fianna Fáil MEPs, yes, but Marion Harkin also, but also a whole range of other countries' MEPs. And Marion Harkin takes the badness out of it, does she? There are 84 MEPs there, Vincent. Um, I am the so legal affairs advisor Fianna Fáil to all are diluted, of them. So it doesn't sound that bad, is that it? No, before I would have been an advisor, you know, much, much closer to them. But I'm running independent. I feel very passionate about that. Um, I think passionate about well, being six, independent. Well, about the six um, MEP, uh, the six senators um, that will be part of the 60. I think it's very important that they are independent, since the others are so. Why are you running for a, 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 a? Why are you running in a procedure that is essentially elitist and insidious? Well, I didn't create that uh, legislation. Yeah, but you're you're um, you're, you're, you're compounding it now by running mm -hmm. it. But I'm I I very much feel that we should uh, stretch our imagination forward, particularly with the goodwill that's around the country and the political appetite to change. Stretch your imagination so Shannon. far that you wouldn't notice the elitism of the Senate, is no, that, of the university. Uh, but in terms Senate. of reforming the Shannon. Uh, Regina, what do you stand for? Politically, what, what, what are you about politically? The most important thing at the moment is our future, the future oh, of our really? nation. Yeah. Good Lord. And when was that not the case? Well, when did anybody running for election to anything say the most important thing at the moment is our past? Well, I think more than any time. Can you think, that, think, can you think a, of a more astounding cliche than that? Well, I still believe I still years. believe in can it. You? I still, still, I still really? believe in it. You believe in our future. And, and most important thing is our future. It's up to us. We are the next generation. And it's up really? to us to stand up to the plate and be part of that. Stand up to the plate. And I am willing to come back from Brussels um, with my expertise um, as an EU legal and political advisor and to add added value to the Shannon. The and, Shannon among, and your first insight is that the most important thing is our future. Yeah, the future of the country, I think. Oh, my it, God. I think, Vincent, is what everybody's thinking about. They're not thinking about the past. They're not thinking about today. They're the thinking about the future. And they want... Is a, that really all? Want because to I asked you what you stand for, and you said... And, and the first thing out of your mouth is you, you come out with this astounding banality. The most important thing is our future. Well, I was going to continue. So, the fr so future... And we are that generation. We need to stand up to the plate. Oh, the second thing is reform. Up to the plate? And what plate? The second is reform. It's reform of the Shannon. It's reform of the Arathus. It's, it's reform of how we create jobs in this country. We need to help uh, entrepreneurs in this country. We need to reform the health system. Uh, the Shannon, a reform Shannon, could definitely be a house where uh, you would open up a committee and you would haul bankers in. I think the Irish deserve to have the bankers grilled. Um, to let them sweat, have the media in, and to let people feel that, that they had their pound of flesh. Do you not know that happened? Well, I think it should have happened it in Shannon. It did happen. Uh, uh, not in the Shannon, but uh, the members of the Shannon were present on the Oireachtas Committee on Finance. Several hearings on the banking uh, But it should have been open prices. to the public. It and should have been open to the public uh, in terms of all media should have been allowed in because it was a very, very important moment Regina, in the US. Not history. alone was it open to the public, it was on television. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's, well, what's wrong with I that? I think this is a really important place where the Shannon can take its place. But the it members the of the Shannon were there. But it could be the lead you didn't know about clearinghouse. That. You didn't know about that, obviously. Which is a problem running for the Senate when you don't know what happened here. No, and recently you were in Brussels, presumably, were you? Yes, I was in Brussels. Yeah. And the seat that, that I want to propose is that it's not a Regina O'Connor seat. It would be a, st a seat surrounded by stakeholders, people like Dennis O'Brien and uh, Sean O'Driscoll and Andrew Parrish and health, health reform people. Sean O'Driscoll, um, this is the fellow who was on the board of the uh, AIB. When, when it, uh, in, during all those years that led to its collapse. Well, it's more that was, This is the kind it, of experts we want, is well, it? It's the, it's the experts behind... This is it's, it's the kind of experts we want, is it? It's the experts behind Irish business. We need to create an area for Irish indigenous business to grow. 
People that were entrepreneurs and failed were labelled and stigmatised in this country. We need to create an entrepreneurial ecology. And people like Dennis O'Brien, Sean O'Driscoll, Andrew Parrish, who also has nominated me Who's in Andrew Green Parrish? Energy. Oh, He's Sean, CEO Sean O'Driscoll has nominated of you. Wave Bob. Former, former director of AIB, one and of the Andrew guys who, who was uh, surely had some, and some role in this, this crisis. Andrew Parrish, this terrible CEO collapse. of Wave Bob who is head of green energy. We have an amazing opportunity here in terms of growing our entrepreneurs. 